Hey guys, BCAM2191 here. We'll go ahead and get started here. This video is going to be on all of my soft plastics. Hope I can get through all that in 10 minutes. And uh, if not, we'll have to make two parts to it. But uh, here it goes. Alright. So I know you guys have seen a lot of this already in my other videos, but I'm just going to make one video on everything. So you guys don't have to watch multiple videos to see what all I have. Alright. Well, I'll start with the ones that are still in the packages. I haven't opened these yet. Or used them ever. So, got the Strike King, Shadowlicious, Swim Baits. I have the Sexy Shad color and the Neon Ghost Minnow color. Uh, these are supposed to be really good. I know a lot of people like them and they're a very popular swim bait out there right now. So, I will go ahead and try those out. I'll probably do a review on those as well. And then I got the Zoom uh, Swimming Super Fluke thing, my Bob. Yeah, Swimming Super Fluke. And a watermelon with red flake and that white pearl color. Uh, white pearl and albino are probably my favorite colors in most of my soft plastics. Um, but yeah, those are really good. Apparently, I've never used them, like I said. But and uh, then I got the Junior Swimming Super Fluke in the smoke and shad color. So um, yeah, that's it for that. Now on to my. I have all my baits in a hard plastic cases like this. And um, I usually keep them in that because I have a storage container for them. And uh, just a little easier, I guess, than keeping bags and all that. But people have their different opinions, so this is how I like to keep it. Alright, this is my worm box. Let's see if you guys can see in there. I kind of need to stock up on uh, Cinco's. I only have uh, two colors. But I hardly ever use them, but I need to stock up on different colors, so I will use them. But I'll go ahead and start off with my Cinco's, with what I have. These are, I believe they are Strike King, but I'm not completely sure. Um, I just got these from a neighbor. Gave a tackle box to me with a bunch of stuff in it, and I don't know what any of it was. But <coughs> these are, I believe they're Strike King. Could be Zoom, I'm not sure. Or, I don't know. But they're a black and yellow swirl color. I only have two of those, so I'll get rid of those soon. And then I got the, these are Yum Dingers. They're like a, I guess a pumpkin color or something. It's a charger's tail. I got quite a bit of those, so I'll try and use those. And these are my Berkeley Power Bay worms. Um, I got the motor oil color, which is supposedly the best color worm out there on the market right now, according to a lot of people, including uh, CRF and Mix Razor. I've also seen it on a lot of forums and uh, websites about fishing. Now this is one of the best colors for smallmouth and largemouth. Um, and then I got the uh, the red shad color. And these are all 7 inch size by the way. And then I also got the pumpkin seed color. But I don't use worms too often but I try to use them whenever I can. And uh, yeah. Uh, these are probably my favorite worms that I have. Or a zoom uh, G tail worm, and the tail on this is amazing. Great action. Um, caught a pretty good three pound fish on this when I use it. I've only used it once. Here are some black uh, zoom trick worms. Um, wacky rig or Texas rig, those ones. Um, and these, I'm not sure who makes these, but I got them one day. Um, when I was just starting to fish, so I've had these for many years now. But uh, I've had great success on them. They're purple with a pink tail. But I've had really good luck on them, so I still use them. And I'm not sure who makes these either. Um, it doesn't say. But uh, it's almost like a like a tiny eel. They're like it's probably about five six inches. And like a watermelon color. So those are really good. I caught a lot of fish in those. That's it for my worms. Uh, I'll move on to my my craws and my beavers. And I'll also show you my uh no no I won't, never mind. It's fine. Alright, these are uh these are yum craws I believe. Not exactly sure again. Doesn't say. But these are really small. They're very realistic though. These are some net bait 
baby pack of crows in a watermelon color or a green pumpkin color. Uh, good trailers. Got some Berkeley, Berkeley, Chica Cross, and a four inch um, in the black with blue fleck. Good for black and blue jig trailers. And I got some Berkeley Crazy Lake Chica Cross in the four inch and a pumpkin with green fleck. And now for my beavers, I got the Reaction Innovation in a green pumpkin color. Use those as trailers on my jigs. And I got Reaction Innovation in the spray, uh, yeah, sprayed grass color. It's uh, green on one side, purple on the other. Good uh, contrast there. And these are the Strike King rodents I just got. They're supposed to be one of the best beavers out there right now, or beaver style baits. But uh, they got these good little bubble arms here that are supposed to have good action. And these tails, and uh, they're a perfect plastic, so they're supposed to be really good. And they got another rodent in the watermelon with green or red fleck in it. And that's it for those. Now I'll move on to my tubes. I got about three minutes to get through all this, so this should be. Yeah. I got a Strike King bleeding bait tubes, the white color. Strike King bleeding bait tubes in the green pumpkin color. Got some Strike King tubes. I'm not sure the exact uh, kind, but I know the Strike King. I got. I guess a like a coffee color with a pink tail. I got a bunch of those. Like yeah, I got them from a neighbor. I didn't get them. And I got these, which I believe are yum tubes, in a green, red, and yellow color. Got some Strike King coffee tubes and a watermelon with a green or red fleck. Uh, more Strike King coffee tubes and a green pumpkin color. These have weird names. I don't remember the exact names, but um, I know this one's a watermelon halo color. Strike King coffee tubes. Uh, I think this is the KVD kit color. This is a a black with purple fleck, and uh, this is a green pumpkin with red fleck. Those are all coffee tubes. And these are my little crappie bluegill tubes I use. Uh, like I forget what they're made with or who they're made by. They have they're almost like a swim bait, I guess. I guess you could kind of with that tail there, but I use them as a, like a tube, kind of like a crappie tube. I've caught some pretty good fish on them. And these are some some tube rattles I use for my tubes, give a little extra noise. But uh, I put them in frogs too if I, if I want to. Uh, my lizards and my brush hogs. First off, I got the Zoom Baby Brush Hogs in the Mardi Gras color. Zoom Baby Brush Hogs in the Watermelon Magic color. Zoom Baby Brush Hogs in a Pumpkin Seed color. Uh, interesting color there. I use some Zoom uh, 4 inch lizard black with red flakes a zoom six inch or yeah six I think six inch lizard and a June bug color I like the lizards I use them a lot I haven't lately but I used to a zoom all black lizard zoom black with a blue tail zoom black with a chartreuse tail as you can tell I like black and a zoom chartreuse lizard that's it for my lizards. I got about 20 seconds to show you guys my soft frogs. These are Zoom Horny Toads, Bullfrog color, Okeechobee Craw color, Watermelon with Red Flake, Albino, and a Watermelon. And that's all my soft plastics. And uh, I'll get back to you guys with my hard baits and my rods and reels and stuff. So stay tuned.